Hey, it's Iris. Are you done? Just fed up with your day job? Do you want to leave so you can pursue your passion and become your own boss? Well, you're going to like this video because I'll be sharing three steps to help you get ready to quit your job in six months time. At the end of this video, you'll have an exit strategy and you'll know what to focus on in the months ahead so you can finally say adios to your boss. And don't forget, for the best tips, strategy, and advice on how to quit your nine to five and become your own boss, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell next to it so you get a notification every time I post a new video here on Wednesdays. The three steps I'm sharing in this video have helped hundreds of people I've worked with to say goodbye to unfulfilling jobs, pursue their passion, and start their own business. So let's get into it. Step number one, choose your exit strategy. So the assumption that many people make is that making a leap of faith is our only option. And this is simply not true. Whilst it might speak to our imagination, most people who successfully and sustainably quit their day job and become their own boss do this one small step, one baby step at a time, whilst they're still in their day job. Depending on your financial safety net and your attitude towards risk, there are roughly speaking three exit strategies. Now, the first one and probably most risky one is to just quit your job and go all in on your business. And this is good if you have a decent financial safety net that you can fall back on, or if you're okay with taking a bit of a bigger risk because you feel that one way or another things will work out anyhow. So your second strategy is to quit your day job, find a stepping stone job whilst you keep on building your business on the side. So a stepping stone job is essentially a job in the area or field of work that you're building your business in. And this job itself is not to be all and end all, it's not the thing that you want to be doing for years and years. The main aim of it is that it allows you to pay the bills and it gets you a foot in the door. So you can start building your experience. You can start building your network in the field that you're working in, in the field that you're building your business in. The third and final strategy is to quit your day job, find a bridge job whilst you keep on working on your business on the side. So a bridge job is essentially a job that doesn't have anything to do with the field of work, the industry that you're building your business in. The aim of a bridge job is simply for you to be able to pay your bills and to have the headspace to build your business on the side. If you're really worried about your financial situation when you leave your day job, I always say, please find another job, whether that's a stepping stone job or a bridge job because it will take away the anxiety around how am I gonna be able to pay the bills. It gives you time and space, headspace, to focus on your business and keep on building it. So let me know in the comments, what is your exit strategy going to be? Are you going to take the plunge and go all in? Or are you going to find a stepping stone or a bridge job? I'd love to know. Step number two, find role models and mentors. Look, you don't need to reinvent the wheel. Simply find people who've gone before you and then follow their footsteps, copy the steps that they've taken. It's a bit like a young child learning and discovering the world. They look at other for guidance. They look at what they do and then they copy that. So find someone who's roughly two to three years ahead of you and whose journey you can learn from. So the reason why I'm saying two to three years, roughly two to three years, is because the digital landscape is evolving so quickly these days. So the steps that someone has taken 10 years ago to grow their business and brand might not work as well in this day and age. So find those mentors or role models and study their journey. Really try to figure out what contributed most to their success. What have they done that helped them most to get where they are today? What were the things that really helped them grow? Then use that knowledge to your advantage and go do the same things. Step number three, expand your network. It is said that alone we can do so little, but together we can do so much. So if you really want to make an impact with your business or with the work you do, don't do it alone. Reid Hoffman, the co-founder of LinkedIn once said, no matter how brilliant your mind or strategy, if you're playing a solo game, 
you'll always lose out to a team. Now, that doesn't mean that you need to hire a team yourself, but it does mean that you should work together with other people, collaborate, expand your network, find people whom you can help and whom can help you. The key really here is to find others who serve the same audience as you do, but who offer a different perspective, offer a different service or different product. So take some time to find those people. And once you do, send them an email or a DM on social media and start building that relationship with them. It really is true that alone we can do so little, but together we can do so much. So work together with other people and expand your network. All right, so if you like what I shared in this video, be sure to grab a copy of my Escape the 9 to 5 checklist, in which I share eight crucial things which you should be focusing on right now to get your business in the best possible place before you hand in your notice. I'll add the link to that in the description below this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you are more on this topic, make sure you watch this video here in which I share the best lessons and strategies I've learned on how to turn your passion into a business. See you next Wednesday.